I thought I might take a few moments to tell you more about my life outside of just long hair. I grew up in a cult that trained me to be a housewife. Um, while I am no longer there, I do still value a lot of those skills and have a lot of that mindset that I had. I love to create things. I craft all the time. I made these doilies. Hey, I sewed a shirt for my dad. I've sewn shirts for my husband. I've sewn clothes for my children. I just started a garden this year. I have these like prepper instincts that I try to keep in check because I know that like I love vintage fashion. I'm going to be showing some hairstyles with vintage hats that I got at a tag sale at a theater company. Real vintage hats. So like I have all of these sort of vintage and old-fashioned skills and ideas and uh, taste, but I will say that I am fully on board with the vintage style, not vintage values. I became a feminist in my adult life when I, what really spoke to me was the idea that feminism is the radical notion that women are human beings. And that really hit me very, very hard. I think that my grandmothers did not have choices in their lives and they seemed like pretty unhappy women, honestly. So while I do do baking my own bread, sewing clothes, tending a garden, cleaning the house, I do that because I love it and not because I'm forced to and that makes all the difference. I also have ADHD and autism and that is one of the reasons why I grow my hair like I do because long hair is a special interest of mine. I have, it's been called obsessive before I was diagnosed. So <laughs> basically um, I might do some more videos about other aspects of my life because I think people who love long hair often love a lot of these same things that I do.